Oh, this stick is so neat. Oh, there's, you said some more stuff. I get down on real slick, man. I hope the kids ain't around this party. What is up, Button Check fam? We are back. We have a full week of checking these buttons. Thank you guys for tuning in one more again. Hope you guys had a good weekend. As always, chapters and links down below if you guys want to skip around to a certain subject. And do me a quick favor and please hit that notification bell so you can know when like new updated episodes are coming out because we're kicking them out like hotcakes here in 2022. And also please subscribe to the channel because we got a new sponsor for today's video. For that salty chronic deep ache. My doctor diagnosed it as overactive saltiness that causes widespread depression and anger. Saltobia is known to calm these pains. Ask your doctor about Saltobia today. All right, now we're to the next set of buttons that need to be checked. This one pops off in the world of the almighty cross counter. Y'all remember cross counter? That ring a bell? Y'all remember two gentlemen by the name of Mike Ross and Gutex from Excellent Adventures? Man, it's been a minute, right, since we heard of them fellas, man. I hope, I wish Mike the best. I think he's still off um, doing things. He's still around. He's still in the FGC, just on the DL. And Mike, if you're watching this, call me. Text me, I know you got my numbers. Ain't a damn thing changed, baby. Send me something, I don't care if it's a dick pic. Send me something. Best believe if he sends that D pic, we will feature it on Horny Tuesday. So you're welcome. Anyway, back to cross counter. That got really weird real quick, you know what I'm saying? So if you didn't know, you know, the whole thing with Gutex, right? We haven't heard from this man in quite some time since that whole, you know, Pog Champ thing and all, you know, all that went down. I think it was like over a year ago. Well, if you haven't been paying attention, the man is back. He's now producing content Street Fighter content, FGC content, back on Cross Counter. I literally just noticed it the other day, and I thought it was just this one, right? He said, uh, well, right here it says, Gutex breaks down the Street Fighter 6. He does a reaction video, right? And I was like, holy shit, he's back. But then if you look on the channel, he's had like three other ones since then, starting from about two to three months ago. So it looks like he's back creating content. He has the King of Fighters right here, the beta. Uh, King of Fighters, looks like, I guess they did like a little stream or something like that. Then, of course, Gutex breaks down Street Fighter 6, and I saw in his reaction, he said he really liked the way it looked, as far as like the realism, but yes, it is a cock tea, so we'll see what they have for us in the end. And then, he has five tips for the new King of Fighters, so. Oh, and that one, that King of Fighters, the five tips looks like it was just dropped like 18 hours ago, so the man is definitely back. He's making fighting game material. I've been waiting for this, you know what I'm saying? I'm also very interested to see what he does, because we all know that Gutex, Mike Ross, they were so big and they were so, man, they were so important to the FGC and the growth, right? Excellent adventures, cross counter, everything they did, bar fights, it just, boosted the scene. I mean, like the viewership, the fan base, like how many people it brought and made love the FGC, they did a lot. Now, of course, we all know how it kind of ended up, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very interested. I don't know, is anybody else like me? I always have this thought just in the back of my head, like what if? What if Street Fighter VI comes out? What if the, the League of Legends, the fighter, you know, LOL fighter, what if Project L comes out and they happen to love it? Gutex makes another show. Mike Ross happens to come back. Who knows? I know it doesn't look good, and basically Mike said he ain't gonna do that shit, but I just, I don't know. Is anybody else like me? I just have that thought in the back of my head, like what if, can we get it? Can we get it back? And that might also be a good idea for button check, you know what I'm saying, to interview. I would love to interview Mike. Mike, if you're out there and you wanna do an interview or if somebody's close to Mike, 
please let him know this, man. And if you want to DM me or text me or anything like that, I would love to interview. We could talk about any. Don't even have to be about fighting games player. We could talk about fucking recipes. And I just want to interview you, baby. I want to talk to you. Button check the people. The, the people want to know. And Gutex too, I'd really like to interview him. I did actually, right? But that was like a few years ago. So I would like to interview him now just to talk about his journey, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's been through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Some people talking shit, some people still fans and love him and whatnot. Cross counter seems like it's coming back. I would like to, you know, get in depth. All right, so this part I had to add right here because the homie Crimson just tagged me and I was like, yo, I had to add this because it's actually speaking of Gutex as well. So somebody by the name of regular Abak or Abak, I'm probably butchering that, at Nova Sonicron, one again, Sonicron, um, okay. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. You can see it for yourself. Anyway, profile on the screen. So they posted this just the other day saying, huh, I wonder if this is the real Goo or Gutex. And they post these screenshots. I guess they're playing KOF, right? And then you could see, I guess, in the banner in the back, Gutex actually changed it because apparently a lot of people don't know, including myself until just now, that you could actually change, I guess. You could change it and write whatever you want. And he wrote, bioweapons in the Ukraine. And then you can see the name right here where it says Gutex ranked 11. Then I believe somebody else adds to that, I believe by the name of Jamal the Fool says, it gets worse. You can see in this screenshot, what was it? Af, uh, Fly666 Monkey, I guess on uh, Reddit. It says, so I'm just getting into KOF and I managed to OCV Gutex tonight. Apologies in advance for him using the banner text to spout his anti-vax BS. And if you look closely, which I'll try to zoom in it, um, you can see where it says, what is it, Vax or something, the virus, the Vax. Uh, you can clearly see it like on the left side and the right as well. So a lot of people in the FGC are reacting to this. I think uh, one of the popular opinions or responses is cringe, right? A lot of people are like, holy shit, he's still not separating his political opinions from the FGC. And I think that's kind of where we left off with Gutex when we last saw him, right? It was like part of his political opinions is what got this whole situation rolling in the first place, right? He was the face of Pac Champ. He was Pac Champ, and then he got taken away because of his political views. Um, a lot of other things seemed to kind of spiral as well because it seemed like he was very strong in his political views to the point where the FGC was like, yo, pump your brakes. And then here we are. To be honest, when I first started this story, it, it was literally just, hey, Gutex is back because I noticed everything in the last few months on Cross Counter was straight up FGC in reactions and, you know, Street Fighter, KOF, whatnot. That's why I was like, yo, let's do this because honestly, I wanted to keep it positive. I want to be like, yo, Gutex is, always, real talk, I know we all have different relationships and all that stuff, but Gutex personally has always been nice to me. Always been straight up. He gave me a job when, when he didn't have to, like before Bunt Check really even took off. I mean, he's just always been real cool. And Mike Ross, you know what I'm saying? There's always been A1. So anytime like anything pops off, like in the past or anything, I've always, what I'm trying to say is just like with anybody that you feel cool with or that you respect, if something pops off, you just, you wish the best for them. You hope the best for them that they're doing okay and that they're able to turn things around. So honestly, I got excited when I started to do the story, like real talk, I was like, oh, he's back, Cross Counter is back. I mean, he's just doing FGC shit. But then I see this and I'm like, ah, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as like still not separating the political from gaming. Because I think at the end of the day, gamers, they, they don't wanna, they don't, they just wanna game. And I've seen it personally from personal experience. Like, you know, they watch, cross counter or they watch button check or they watch FGC shit, whatever, because they want FGC shit. They want video games, you know what I'm saying? They want a break from reality or everyday life. And if they're gaming, they just want gaming. So anytime we come across like real life shit or political shit, especially if it's not your point of view or somebody seems like they're just coming at it in a real strong and dominant way, it just could be very off-putting, you know what I'm saying? Because people are like, I'm not here for this. Anyway, what do y'all think, man? Definitely let me know how you feeling. Uh, Gooey, if you happen to be watching this, I meant what I said earlier. I still would like to interview you because I think you had a very interesting journey. I'm not sure where you are now as far as like, uh, if you have plans to come back even stronger, uh, what your political views have to do with the FGC, like if there's like a like a deeper meaning to it, you know what I'm saying, and spreading the word. Like, I, honestly, I would just like to interview you. That it is, ladies and gents, definitely let me know how you feeling. Thank you guys for tuning in one more time, man, as far as the whole Gutex thing. 
goo text thing if I could even talk. What do y'all think? Are y'all like me, man? Do you hope there's a redemption arc for goo text? Do you think, you know, is there a piece of you that's optimistic thinking like maybe with Street Fighter 6, maybe with LOL Fighters, Mike Ross will come out the shadows or goo text will some come excellent adventures and will be reborn again? Or do you think at this point it is just so far gone that it's past the time and FGC has, you know, pretty much turned a new chapter? You know, it was such a big part of our lives. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't know. It just, you just hold it near and dear to your heart and you just kind of remember. We have a tendency of just hanging on and remembering the good times. And with that being said, here comes some more good times. So we got to end it on an HT flavor. Right here, Jason F tagged me in this. He said, Jade, looking phenomenal in her MK Jade outfit on last night's. And then he tags, of course, AEW Revolution. Then I believe he tags who? Ed Boone right here saying, what are your thoughts on this cosplay? Then he tags me, appreciate it, saying, this definitely deserves your attention. And it definitely does. Check this out. I was literally, me and my son were just talking about Jay the other day because we were talking about some wrestling. Okay, uh, this is a serious question. You all see the cosplay right here. Right here, you see her holding the belt. Here's another angle right here. Just rocking the cosplay. Just flawless victory all the way around. And of course, let me put the profile on the screen. Let me back up a little bit in case you live on a different planet and don't know who this amazing young woman is. Here's the question, who does it better than Jade? It's a real question in wrestling, period. Who does it better than Jade? Here's another picture, I'm gonna ask you that question again. Bam! Yeah, I'm gonna ask you again. Who does it better than Jade? Huh? Who, who, who? Okay, well, no, let me give you a little, little picture right here. Let me give you another one. Bam! Who? You ever see somebody so damn fine just make you want to cuss? Don't make no damn sense being all that fine. There it is one more time. Thank you guys for all the amazing love. We will see you soon. If not tomorrow, definitely the next day, which will be Thursday morning. Love y'all forever. See you soon. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Saltobia is known to calm these pains. I've learned Saltobia can provide significant release from saltiness. And now I can accomplish more. Saltobia is not for everyone and should only be used in the saltiest of situations. Common side effects include dizziness, diarrhea, weight loss, weight gain, pregnancy, erectile dysfunction, goosebumps, cooties, hickeys, and extreme horniness. Saltobia may also cause suicidal thoughts, but if you're really salty, let's face it, you're probably having murderous thoughts already, so what do you got to lose? With less salt, I'm feeling much better. And now, I'm ready for another round. Ask your doctor about Saltobia today.